We begin by taking deep breaths in and out. In and out. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. As we draw our attention to our bodies, sitting firmly on the ground. We draw our attention to the solidity we feel under our feet. We feel ourselves really settle down into our bodies and further down into the ground. as though we're sinking a bit deeper and deeper down into the floor, down into the ground beneath. Until we're like a tree or a plant or perhaps some burrowing animal or rock settled in the ground where we have a firm, solid place. Here we know we can rest, we can rejuvenate. We feel ourselves sending outside of ourselves, outside of our bodies, outside of our fields, any energy that is no longer helpful to us. It flows out of us, it flows out of our feet, it seeps out of our pores, it sinks down to the ground. We let it go. We continue to push out any energies that are no longer useful, making sure they are cleared from us, from our physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies. We may see these negative energies or these lower energies or these heavier energies, these not useful energies around us and they dissipate into the ground, being drawn off by Mother Earth to be utilized by other creatures. Once we feel this clearing is complete, we know we can take in any sort of energies that we require from the Earth here in our little burrow, here in our solid spot in the ground. We feel the positive earth energies being drawn to us, almost as though we are a magnet. They are drawn to us. We welcome them in and give thanks to the earth. Now we become aware of the energies shining down on us from the heavens, from the upper realms, from the spirit realms. And we reach up to connect to these energies. We feel our solid connection with spirit. It may feel as though it's coming through your head, perhaps the top of your head, perhaps the very middle of your head, Perhaps it feels like it's coming through your third eye or directly into your heart. But you know you are connecting with the light of spirit, of God, of all that is. You feel this beautiful light as it surrounds you, as it envelops you and holds you fast. We let the light continue to envelop us.
surrounding us on every side. Once we feel our circle of light is built, we give thanks to spirit. We give thanks to the earth. And we know now we can safely travel to our inner temple, our place of meditation and healing and light. We go there now. It can be any place we imagine. We spend a few moments settling into our inner landscape, our inner temple. Readying ourselves for a meditative journey. Today we will travel to the heavens and connect with the planetary energies in space. We take further deep breaths. And again, we imagine ourselves reaching upwards. First, we begin by reaching upwards to the sky. The sky above us may be clear and blue. It may be cloudy and gray. It may be anything in between. But we reach up up to the sky and we keep going. We keep traveling upwards and we begin to see an array of lights and we keep traveling. It may feel as though you're rising upwards you may feel some fluttering behind your eyelids as you see these lights flash by. We keep traveling through these lights until we reach a vast space. A vast space that is inky and black. It is dark and cool and quiet. And we spend a moment here being aware that we have space. We are surrounded by a vast amount of space. And we have the opportunity to bring in vast energies. After spending a moment here, we begin our travels to bring in some specific planetary energies. First, we focus on the energies of the planet Mercury. These planetary energies are associated with travel, with communication, with interconnectedness. We 
and take a moment to align with these energies of movement, these messenger energies. We feel ourselves surrounded by them. Now we can begin drawing these energies in. We may feel drawn to bring them into ourselves. Or perhaps we feel ourselves guided to send these mercurial energies elsewhere to another situation or person or place where they may be of use. We take a moment now to direct and the energies of communication, of travel, to where we are most drawn to send them. Giving thanks to the energies of Mercury, we now move to a different planet, the planet of Mars. The energies here are very different. Here we have warrior energies, not necessarily warlike, but strong. These energies of the spiritual warrior, of strength. Begin to inundate us. Encouraging us to be more assertive encouraging us to defend others. Encouraging us that we are free to go out and get what we need or what we desire. We feel ourselves connecting to these strong warrior energies. We feel them swirling all around us. These energies may make us think of a particular color. They may just give us a certain feeling. We may see symbols or images that we associate with these qualities but we take a moment to immerse, immerse ourselves in these energies. And then we decide whether we would like to take more of these energies into our own being, or whether perhaps we would like to direct them to another person or place or situation where they are required. We direct these Martian energies to where they're most needed now.
Once the energetic movement is complete, we give thanks to the energies of Mars. We find ourselves moving swiftly to the planet Venus. We feel ourselves enveloped in these energies of nurturing, of love, these very feminine energies. We take some time to call up any images, any words or symbols. any sounds or scents or pictures that may remind us of this nurturing, loving, feminine energy. We call these things to mind now. After we feel we have really connected to these energies of Venus, we then make the decision whether to take some into ourselves or perhaps to direct them outwards to another person or place or situation where they are most needed now. We take another few moments to really gather this Venusian energy towards us, to take it into us if need be, and perhaps to send it forth as well. Once we feel this energy transfer is complete, we give thanks to Venus. And we continue our planetary journey. This time moving to the great planet that is Jupiter. Drawing near, we find ourselves surrounded by Jupiter's massive energy. These energies are associated with power, with authority. We feel ourselves becoming more and more aware 
of how these energies feel to us and what they mean to us. We may at this time see images or symbols, colors or sounds that we associate with power, with authority. As we continue to connect with these massive energies. Once we feel strongly connected with the energies of power and authority that are associated with Jupiter, we find ourselves able to direct a small portion of these energies either towards ourselves or to another purpose where these energies will be most useful. We find ourselves directing this energy now to wherever we are guided to do so. We continue for a moment, sending forth this energy, pouring its light and strength towards wherever it will do the most good. Once this energetic transfer seems complete, we give thanks to the energies of Jupiter. And we begin our travels to the last of the planets we will visit on this journey. The energies of Saturn. As we draw closer to the energies of this planet, we feel its strong pull. We feel the pull of the energies associated with Saturn, the taskmaster, the bringer of order. We may begin to feel inundated with images, symbols, feelings that we associate with law and order. And we take a moment to really connect with these energies. As we feel these energies grow, we may feel a swirling around us. Or perhaps more like neat soldier energies marching in. But we feel our ability to direct this energy either to ourselves 
to something in our own life, or perhaps to something outside of ourselves, a person, place, or situation that would most benefit from more energies of order, of organization, of completion. We take a moment to send forth these energies as we are guided to do so. Once we feel this directing of energies is complete, we give thanks. We give a special thanks to Saturn. A general thanks to all the planets, those we spoke of today and all the many others. And we feel ourselves one more time taking in the vastness of space before we take a large step back to our own inner temple. We take a moment here to regroup, to quiet ourselves, to feel ourselves pulling our energies back to earth. Now taking some deep breaths, we feel ourselves coming back even further into our own bodies, our own selves, our own homes, returning slowly but steadily once back in our bodies. We feel ourselves fully present. Welcome back and thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kelly.